What's up guys, FIFA Point by here bringing you yet another play review. Today I'm going to review in the 87 team of the knockout stage Olivier Giroud. Giroud is 6 foot 4, has medium medium work rates, has 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. These were his in game stats, his key stats being his attack positioning, his finishing, his shot power, his heading accuracy and his strength. If you enjoyed this review, smash the subscribe button to get information on all of my future uploads. I decided to apply a Hunter chemistry style to Olivier Giroud as it gives him a big pace boost and it also makes his shooting even more incredible. For a target man, you'd expect a player to be incredible at finishing, especially at close range, and Giroud definitely fits this criteria. Giroud's finishing with his left foot is honestly incredible and I'd go as far to say that he's got one of the best left foots on the game. He's also got incredibly high shot power which makes his shots extremely hard for the goalkeeper to save and his long shots at 81 are honestly a lie and they feel like they're much higher. Giroud's physical stats in my opinion are by far the best thing about his card. His massive 6 foot 4 frame combined with his 93 strength mean it's practically impossible to get the ball off him at times because of how strong he is. His 89 jumping combined with his 6 foot frame means it's almost impossible to beat in the air as well and is extremely dangerous from corners with that 99 head inaccuracy. Drew's distribution was also decent for a striker. He's got incredible vision and great short passing which allowed him to assist quite a lot for me. His 66 long passing is irrelevant considering he's a striker as well. Giroud plays very similar in games to how he played for France during the World Cup in the way he's able to easily dictate and hold up play due to his strength and decent short passing and he's good at causing a general nuisance for the opponent. Now onto the things that aren't so good about this Giroud card. The first one being his stamina at 65 is absolutely awful and you definitely need to substitute him off towards the end of the game. The second thing being his agility. Giroud feels extremely clunky to start with because of his 6 foot 4 high and he feels even clunkier considering his agility stats only 60 and I'd never recommend trying to dribble with this guy. The final thing being how incredibly slow he is and he honestly feels like a tortoise at times. Giroud's pros are his finishing, his strength, his heading, his short passing and his hold up play. And his cons are his stamina, his agility and his pace. Overall, I give Drood an 8 out of 10 with a value for coins rating of 10 out of 10. Drood sells for between 25 and 50,000 coins on both the Xbox and the PlayStation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.